Come on,
cured before you. How we can be cured before you? How we can achieve Suddha Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti? This connection is telling. Oh, the center part by devotees. Uh, there are so many things. Patrita, no, Kripal, Patrita, Droha, Sikitsu, Sarvadevina, Shatya Sarvam, Adhyatma, Shamasarvo Pakarata. Eleventh canto, eleventh chapter, twenty-nine is low. Oh, my dear Uddha, my doctor is so merciful. He cannot tolerate the sufferings of we but the jeev. That is why, like now, the chattered whole heart, without invitation, Anyone has not had invited Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj that you should come and preach here. Automatically, out of mercy, sent by his Dumude, he was a murti of murti embodiment. embodiment of oh, mercy. His Dumude, Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhartha. So he sent. So, they are very, very merciful. They go to door to door like Nityananda Prabhu. Even they are beaten. They are insulted. Even they preach, oh, anyhow you should speak Hare Krishna or Krishna. You know, that how they die or die. They uh, Nityananda Prabhu and he has uh, and blood was coming. Mahaprabhu became very, very and angry and he wanted to kill them with chapter, but Nityananda Prabhu is strong. No problem. You should not do. In other incarnation, in incarnation you have did like so, but in this so Bhakta like same, they are insulted sometimes, anyone insults, even they don't give, uh, they don't give their habit to preach. <laughs> After the Droha, they don't think that if anyone is in this world in my hearing, they don't think. Like Maharaj Yudhishthi, Dhrupa Jodhan and his party was doing so much nonsense to him, but he never think for that he is my enemy. So if anyone wants to do bhajan, he should be like that. He should not think anyone that he is. If anyone doing something against him, even there was, there were two saints, they were going oh, in the bank of the river. They saw that a scorpion was brought up in the current of that river. One of the saint, saintly person he went and took the scorpion on his palm oh. and tried to save her. But see, a scorpion bites oh, skin. And again he came in the stream. 
that is called here. Again, he went there and took. Again, he stung. Again, he took. Then his friend told, Oh, why you are doing so? You should come, don't try to say that. Let's die. Die. Then that person told, If this scorpion is not getting up his nature to bite, how I should give up my nature? Give up my this. Nature. Huh? Nature. That I must say. And again he went that So, you should. Sri never told Dujodhan. No Dujodhan. Always Sudhodhan. If anyone does something again, devotee, oh, they don't take revenge. It is true. से बहुत दुख आ जाता है कभी सह लेते हैं इफ एनी सफरिंग कमिंग स्टिल इट वेरी वेरी बिगर इवन दे टॉलरेंस इज वेरी हाई क्लास ऑफ क्वालिटी फॉर दी बोट So we should try to tolerate. Oh, do you know what is truth? Absolute truth. Krishna is truth. Absolute truth. And here, these devotees are like so. So. Heart even they don't want any mischief to others. Always their life, their wealth, their power, their strongness, everything for others to save others to help others. So Vaishnavas should help others. In any case, their intelligence never become what? Healthy. Contaminate. 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 Oh, he is always tena gati suni chena, taro gati sahisuna, amani na mana de na kritte na. We should try to practice this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instruction. Prina Bhakti Sunisha. Kauru Bhakti Sunisha. Amani Nama. If you want to chant her name, follow this issue. Oh, their nature is very sweet. They don't disturb anyone. Never lose harsh words to anyone. Very sweet behavior and sweet is speaking like Damodar Maharaj. <laughs> They don't collect so much thing, wealth or anything. Anyhow, to maintain their life and their family life. What is necessary? We have not more than that. They do only bhojan. They eat limited food, food stuff. Permit means what is needed to save their life? Only that, not more than that. Otherwise, fatness will come, and if fatness will come, then what will be? Also, many kinds of rogue, especially hard rogue, will come. And if any danger will come, they cannot run away. <laughs> so, let us be careful. 
ध्वज उठते लिमिटेड फूड स्टॉप लिमिटेड स्मॉल अमाउंट बिकम वेरी गुड वेरी गुड नो रोग ऑल्सो नो डिजीज नो डिजीज दे वोकअप इन द मॉर्निंग बिफोर देर गुरु एंड श्री आफ्टर स्लीपिंग गुरु देव Sleeping Guru Dev, when Guru Dev is asleep, then they will sleep. They will not take prasadam until Guru Dev takes prasadam. First giving, serving him, and then. They are not controlled by hunger, thirsty, thirst. शोक मोह जन्म मृत्यु एनी काइंड ऑफ सर सफरिंग में काम दे चौ रहे तो एंड ऑलवेज शांतिंग कृष्ण ने हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण दे डोंट वांट एनी प्रेस फ्रॉम अदर्स बट अकॉर्डिंग टू बाय देयर क्वालिफिकेशन दे ऑलवेज दे रिस्पेक्ट फॉर अदर्स These persons, devotees, they know me perfectly. What I am, they know, and prema bhakti comes to them. Oh my dear Uddha, to serve my son, my devotee. मत भक्तव्य पूजा भी अधिक सर्विस की सेवा ऑफ वैष्णव इज मोर देन माई सेवा पिछले चेन इज एनी वन सर्विंग मी आई विल नॉट बी सो हैपी इज एनी वन सर If anyone said, "Mother Jasoda, I will be more happy than anyone said. I will be more happy if anyone can serve Gopis or any person." They are always happy, always happy. How? In hearing Hari Katha, if there is how, then the symptom is that shanti abhorta kalatam, shanti abhorta kalatam, virakti manusunyata, acharanta sahakanta namgani sadanti, asati sad basati sthale, asati sad guna khane, kiti sad basati sthale. So Shilvardev is explaining the qualities, the twenty-six qualities of a pure Vaishnava, which is mentioned in the eleventh canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam, and. Also, Shilvardhana is referring to the shloka which is given in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu by Shilvarupa Goswami, which is explaining the nine symptoms of a Vaishnava who has attained the stage of bhav, bhav bhakti, bhav avastha. So, in that stage, 
the pure devotee actually manifests completely all the transcendental qualities that are mentioned, these 26 qualities, and particularly nine qualities become apparent. These are symptoms of someone who has a pain, this page of Bha. If someone has these qualities, we can examine in their life, in their character, in their personality. If they are manifesting these qualities, well then it, we can understand that they have attained the stage of Bha. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, the, the verse which the Buddha song is written, Kshantir Abhyakta Kalatvam Viratir Mahasunyata Asha Bhanda Samudkanta Namadani Sadayuji Asatis Tarpanakyane Pritis Tarpasatisthale Ityadayo Anupavas Yur Jata Bhavan Kure Jane. So, it's in someone in whom the Bhavan Kur the sprout of Bhagavati has manifested in their heart, then this, these qualities will manifest. First of all, Kshantir. Kshantir means that under any condition, he is never agitated, always very, very tolerant and peaceful. Kshantir. Abhyanaka Kalatvam. Uh, he never wants to uh, waste even a single moment of time uh, without being completely engaged and absorbed in hearing, chanting, remembering, doing all the limbs of bhakti. Shanti uh, Aryanta Kalatam Virakti. Virakti means that he's completely detached from any kind of material attachment in this world, any kind of attachment to material enjoyment uh, for the sake of material enjoyment. He may accept whatever enjoyment comes, as Srila Gurudev was explaining in these qualities, whatever small amount of uh, foodstuffs is required to maintain the body, he accepts that, but not more than that. So he is completely detached from any uh, material attachments in this world, Virakpir. And Manushunyata, just like Gurudev has been explaining to us, the third slope of Sikshastika, in which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing how someone can chant Sudhana, that they have to be as uh, feeling very humble, lower than a blade of grass, more taller than a tree. Tana the Pisanitena, Tara the Pisahishnana, Amanina Manadena, Kirtaniya Sadhari, that they are not uh, desiring for themselves any kind of respect to be shown to themselves. And uh, on the opposite side, uh, they are giving, monadena, they give respect to all living entities, according, especially in the, to the Vaishnavas, according to their level. If they are Kanishta, uh, Madhyam, or Uttam, he respects all Vaishnavas according to their level, but even every living being, every Jiva soul, he respects them as eternal part and parcel of Krishna. But for himself, he's not attached at all to any kind of respect being shown to him. So that quality is called mana shunyata. Mana shunyata. Asha bandha samutkanta. Asha bandha means that the pure devotee is always maintaining the very strong, intense asha desire that he will be able to serve Krishna uh, in transcendental praying. So he is aspiring at every moment for this, Asha Bhanda, hoping that the mercy of Krishna will come to him. Just as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches in Sikshastakam uh, also in the sixth shloka, Nayanam Galadashtudharaya Varanam Gadgada Rudhaya Gira Kulakaira Dishitam Vapukkada Tabadam Agrahane Bhavishati so here Mahaprabhu is showing how a devotee who has attained the stage of Bhav, he is always praying to Krishna, Oh, when will my dear Lord, Nayanam Galadashtra Oh, when will my eyes be filled with tears of love as I chant your pure holy name? When will my voice be choked up while chanting your holy name? When will all the hairs of my body stand on end as I recite your holy names? So in this way, the pure devotee is completely absorbed and aspiring to attain the perfectional stage of, of uh, transcendental Krishna praying. And Asha Bhanda Samudkanta, 
He is very, very eager at every moment. This eagerness is overwhelming, overflowing in his heart. So constantly, constantly he is striving toward that goal. Samut comes up. Oh, when will it come? When will it come? Asha Bandha Samut Kamta Namagani Sadaruji. Very primary symptom of the Bhav Bhakta that he is so much attached to the pure Shuddha Nam, chanting the holy names, Nam Gane Sada Ruchi. He has taste. Just like this morning we're on morning walk and Srila Gurde was describing that if someone has Ruchi, if Ruchi comes to that devotee, if taste for chanting the holy name comes to that devotee, automatically, without being told by anyone that you should chant this number of rounds, he will chant more and more, increasing and increasing. So, the devotee who's on the perfectional stage is constantly Navagani Sadaruji. Just like Mahaprabhu is saying, Kirtaniya Sadahari. Sada means always, constantly flowing on his tongue, in his mind. His whole existence is completely relishing and tasting the nectar of Krishna Nam. Asaptistat gunakyane pritistat vasatistale. So asaptistat gunakyane means that the pure Vaishnava, oh, the Uttam Bhagavat, he is completely attached to describing all the names, qualities, forms, pastimes of Krishna. He wants to be relishing this also 24 hours daily. And pritistat vasatistale. He has preeti, he has love and affection and attachment for the pure uh, holy dham that has been manifested by the Supreme Lord within this world. Just like Sri Raghunath Das Goswami in the first stroke of Manasiksha, he is telling Guru Doshte Gostala Isu Sujane Bhushulagane. He is telling that, oh my dear mind, please develop rati, transcendental love and affection and attachment for Sri Guru, for the Holy Dham. That means Sri Vrindavan Dham, where Sri Krishna has performed his transcendental pastimes. And therefore we see Srila Gurudev is calling the Vaishnavas from all over the world to come to Sri Navadhip Dham for Navadhip Parikrama, to go to all the transcendental uh, nine islands of Navadhip Dham, in which Srila Gurudev is constantly glorifying the pastimes of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And in Kartik time, he is calling all the Vaishnavas from all over the world to come to Sri Vrindavan Dham, to visit all the twelve forests of Vrindavan during the month of Kartik. And in this way, Sri Gurudev is constantly glorifying the names, qualities, forms, and pastimes of Radha and Krishna. So, the pure devotee, he does not want to live anywhere uh, outside of Krishna's holy Dham. And therefore, he is always living in Prada, because even if physically it appears that he is leaving the Holy Dham to go traveling and preaching throughout the world, actually he has not left, because Vrindavan is in his heart. He is constantly living in Braj 24 hours daily. So, Pritistat Vasatis Tulay, Ityadayo Anubhavasyur, Jata Bhagam Pune Jane. In this way, these nine qualities will be prominently exhibited in a pure Vaishnava who has attained the stage of Bhav Bhakti. So, in this way, we can examine if someone is an uh, ordinary neophyte devotee, there is no possibility that they can manifest these divine transcendental qualities. So, Srila Goswami has made it very clear these are the symptoms of a pure Uttam Bhagavat. Oh, my dear Uddhav, the devotee must take darshan of my Sri Vigra. Sri Vigra Manik is Diki. And especially they should take darshan of pure Vaishnava, his pure devotee. They should serve them. They should worship. And they should serve them. They should do istuti and pranam. Istuti means prayer. prayer. 
Sundays with great sadha, strong sadha, they should hear my sweet pastimes and first deed in prayer. What he did in other incarnations, like Ram, like Nishin Dev, like others. Always meditating me and anything dear to devotee, they did not take themselves. They should offer to Krishna first. And then remain they can take. First, they should to others and then remain. They should take. Always they should glorify my Janma Tamra Chame Divyam. The, the birth of Krishna is not like humans, not prophet, not mortal. It seems that Krishna is taking birth from Mother Yasoda, but he is the creator of Mother Yasoda also, you know. So, we should know what is his Janma, what is his birth, transcendental. He is always Sanna Madhav Yasoda. Even he is Ajah, no birth, nothing. So, you, should, you must follow Janmashtami, Ram Nomi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu birthday, Nishing Dev, Bhaktri, like this. Vityananda Trayadasi. Huh? Vityananda Trayadasi. Vityananda Trayadasi Kavi. Advaita Charjya. Agu. Baladev Prabhu. Bhaktri. And at that day, they should sing the glory of Krishna. Like Jasamati Nandana, Braja Varamaka. Gopula Ranjana. Like this. Bolo Hari Hari, Mukunda Muradi, Ram Krishna Hare Krishna. Like this. And dancing that day with drums. And they should make a mahotsa. Festival. On my birthday, especially Janmashtami, that should make Nava Sankirtan with so many persons invited, with drums, with elephants like Orphid, like we do in Mathura. And by so many Parapan idea, they should worship Krishna. So, oh, like Sarvan himself, by their hands, they should wash temple. They should do action himself, not by any Sarvan. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what we did in Gundichamadha, himself. So, now, Uddha, I am thinking, I have decided that Satasanga and Bhakti Jo, both at a time, is essential to be a Krishna. Both Satasanga and in the guidance of Satasanga, no, Bhakti Jo, Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Svaranam, Adasiram, we must follow if you like Krishna Bhakti. He is hearing and after that you will be weak. Don't be like so. Time to time I may come. Time to time I will send preachers. Preachers like Ramana Maharaj, Damodar Maharaj, others, Tekhu Maharaj, Bhan Maharaj. 
you can be in front of so many. And I think in you, among you, there are so many, so much qualified person. Now you have tested for Vrihastasana. You should come out of Vrihastasana and take sannyas and preach. I know so many. Brahmala Prabhu is very qualified. I want that he should come out of Vrihastasana. I think they are daughters and wives. Or that is allowed as it is the highly possible. So, to that Prabhu, what name? Jagadish. Lila Suprabhu. Lila Suprabhu. Oh, he is very qualified. Why he is delayed, I don't know. He should come out of Jagadish. Yes, Jagadish Prabhu is very qualified. He should also come out. So I know that there are so many. Now this is the telling of these things. Satsanga is the association of high class of Vaishnava and Bhakti Yoga, both at a time. It is essential. I think there is no other means to be liberated from this, to cause the endless pain and birth and death and everything. Well, it's true, okay. Uddha, you are my soul, dear friend. Also, my dear son, you are my all. So, I am telling you very confidential thing. And what is that? Narodhayati manjo, na sankha dharma eva cha, na sadhyayasta pahutyago, if you have so much attraction in worldly things, in wealth, in your children, in your all other things, what is for some kind or Destroy. Destroy. All your attachment, what is the attachment? Only Sadhusan can. Only you. Other anything can. Very, very powerful. And that is why association of high class of Vaishnava. Controls me so much. But Jo, Sangha, and Balasam Dharma, not reading Veda, Tapasya, or austerity, yeah, everything they cannot control. Only Sadhu Sangha and Sadhu Sangha. Even to go to Ganges and take birth, all kinds of blood, bathe by following that. You cannot control your senses. Never. Only Satsang can make me control. Though this is not the process of only one Jew for all four Jews, same thing Sadhu Sangha. By association of Vaishnava, Vaishnava Sangha, Daitya, Dhamma, Demons, Birds, Animals, Gandhara, Aspara, Heavenly Themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many nards, snakes, snakes like Kaliya, Siddha, oh, that only, you see, Dimi, 
ये मैं दिया है कार्य
So the devotees, Kavaraj Goswami is inviting everybody so beautifully into Chaitanya to enter into Chaitanya Charitamrita, which is flowing from him. To enter into that, he's asking the devotees, may the songs of your mind come to this lake. Because the pastimes and enter into this lake of the pastimes, the life and the precepts, the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there, hundreds of these beautiful streams are flowing everywhere. All of Krishna's pastimes are flowing everywhere if we can enter into the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yatāya ta gora pada aravinde vinde ta bhakti muti ta punna rāsa. Yatāya ta sāpati hriya kashma rādhā padam bhoja sudham rāsa. To those greatly fortunate persons who have developed devotion unto Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then the divine essence of the ultimate attainment, which is none other than the service of the lotus feet, Radha Padambo Siddhamburasi, that the service to the feet of Srimati Radhika in Vrindavan will be automatically attained. So every pastime of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so infinitely deep and full of shiksha. And it is coming in Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is coming in Vrindavan Dashtako, it is Chaitanya Bhagavad. Every move of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a divine instruction. His pastimes in Chaitanya Bhagavad, uh, what's the other one? Chaitanya Mangal. Everything he does, he's teaching the devotees how to be a devotee of Krishna. What he taught Sri Sanatana Goswami in Prayag, Sambhata Gyan, all about the different relationships about with Krishna, about the different incarnations. So, so many things he has given in Sanatana Siddha. And then his instructions to Sri Rupa Goswami, uh, in uh, Varanasi, and then Sri Rupa Goswami took those instructions, and it came out in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, and all, and his instructions. It is all divinely empowered by Mahaprabhu. When Sanatana wanted to throw himself under the rough cart and finish it, Mahaprabhu heard about this, and he said, "No, through you, I will reveal all the Bhakti Shastra, all what I wanted to give." So the, what Mahaprabhu wanted to give in this world, that subject matter is very, very deep. What he came to give has been explained to one and all. Anamkita Charim Chirat Karuna Viratirinaparo. This sloka that is coming in the uh, beginning of Chaitanya Charitam Rita. Rupa Goswami has given it. May that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu be situated so deeply in the core of our heart. And if we worship Mahaprabhu, then everything will flow from there. Our understanding of Vrindavan will become a spontaneous flow. If we try and enter into Brajavila and understand who is Sri Mati Radharani and Lord Krishna and all their associates, without coming through the systematic teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we'll be finished. It is an impossibility for start, one can never know. But when that divine Sri Krishna comes into this world as Mahaprabhu, then we can understand what is Vrindavan mm -hmm. and the pastimes of Vrindavan. Premrashmiyas Purti Asvadan, Radha Madhu Bhakti Loki. He came to preach something that is so rare, and that is devotion to Krishna with spontaneous attraction to Krishna. This is practically inconceivable. 
and impossible to understand uh, from the human platform. It can't be understood because it is upper Twitter and beyond this material world, it is a job sutra. How can we understand Krishna? But when that Krishna comes down and gives himself, then we can rise up. So his Odarya is very merciful. Hmm? So he taught Sri Sanatana Goswami that the position of the Jiva, everything we know, has come from Mahaprabhu. All the simple things we know to the highest things we know has been given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The position of the Jiva as being part and parcel of Krishna. We got this from Mahaprabhu and Sanatana Goswami. What's that word? Jivera Swarukahoy Krishna Nitta Das. That we actually are a manifestation of Krishna simultaneous one with Krishna, but different from Krishna. What a joyous thing. And these are the initial understandings. Just in the initial understanding, so much happiness should come to our heart. Mahaprabhu has given all of this. So, we are now conditioned. We've been overwhelmed by Maya. So by entering in deeper and deeper into the practice of devotional service, Mahaprabhu taught Sri Rupa Goswami and was it Prayag or Varanasi? Prayag. About the different stages of devotional service. Abhidhaya. How to practice devotional service. So, through them, they have given all of this. So, very briefly, I've tried to say a little something. But to go deeper and deeper into the grace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then we have to cultivate a diametrically opposed consciousness than what we have developed so far in this life. And that's not so easy. And what Srila Guru Dave has been reading tonight and the previous night, it took a lot of effort for me to not melt into the cup. Because all of those divine qualities of the devotee uh, is hard to see in oneself. So that, that, that transformation of consciousness, Trinavati, Sanitana, these things light. So I have to focus in this new way, as my Guru Maharaj would say, embrace the revolutionary plane of consciousness. Can we embrace the, the revolutionary plane of consciousness to greet Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Because that's where he dances. When Mahaprabhu dances and he's singing, he's distributing divine nectar everywhere. Can we undergo the transformation so that we can understand who is Mahaprabhu and what he came to give? So, Thank you. Yeah. Now, Krishna again began to tell Oh my dear Buddha, without attachment you should travel the whole world and glorify you and tell others my glories, my sweet patterns. But one thing, you should be very careful from ladies. They are like burning fire. You should try to respect them like mother, like daughter, like sister only. And if you will be attached anyhow, then you will burn to ashes at once. So be careful. If anyone married person, only he has love and affection for his wife. But not attached or ready to in, in that very way. If they will see any 
person they should treat him like father like son like brother nothing else so you should learn this i'm telling you that there once upon a time in previous days there was a very powerful king named turuva who was the emperor of whole world whole universe one day he went to shikar ke liye hunting hunting for hunting in the forest forest and he saw a very beautiful lady and then he was so much attracted he told that lady oh devi who are you why you are here it seems that you are not from this world you are from heavenly planet planet and you are angels that that lady told yes i am not of this world I am from the heavenly planet, and my name is Urvashi. One of the dear daughter of Indra. I come to this world. I was touching my husband, the most qualified for my husband. But today I say, you, you are very young, very strong. Your personality is so high. You are king. So I want, I have love and affection for you. If we are wrong, we can manage. Became cool now. Oh, at once became very, very happy. Oh, that I wanted. No delay. We should return back to our kingdom and there are our marriage will be done. And it began so. But it's not done. But that Urvashi told that he will promise, promise two things. I have two lands, lands, lands. They are very dear to me. I want that you should always save them, protect them. And secondly, you should not be naked. Oh, in my. I should not see you naked, Pajisan. Huh? I see you not see you. I don't want to see you in naked. So don't be naked in front of me. He told me nothing. I will fall. I promise. Oh, how then we are when? So we went, 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 it went, or oh, they could not uh, knew. Always entangled in the sense predications. One day, in the dark, saw that when you could not see, I am not seen. How did she have that? Go to what? Oh, now we see the has done in this world, and he is married now with Kuruva. So he sends some his followers or go at once, and anyhow he steal away to lands. And when you will stop this angel and. Take it to here. Oh, automatically overseas it come. Then they went in the midnight. When Purva was with his wife Purvasi. In the meantime, when they began to stole away the lands, oh, they began to cry, man, 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 man. At once, Purvasi told, "Oh, coward person! Oh, you promised that I will save my lands. 
And if anyone is touching them, it's illegally. You cannot shoot them. They are very cold. Then he, in that position, he was he ran with his bow and arrow. But he became naked. In hurry, he was. Anyhow, he set the lens and he returned back. Then, oh, Kurbashi saw that he is naked. Oh, you are naked? You have broken. broken your promise. You have broken your promise, so I am going to my Kurbashi go to Indra and saying, she began to run away. King told her, oh, my dear Kurbashi, without you, I cannot leave. I will die. So please, wait a little, wait a little. But she, at once, flew away to a heavenly planet. And this person, oh, Kurva, how Urbasi, how Urbasi, oh, wait a little, wait a little, he fell. And he also went to a heavenly planet. There Urbasi told, Oh, you are a very intelligent person. Why you are following me? You should return back and you should serve Krishna and meditate Krishna. And you should be attracted out of Krishna. Why to me? What not myself? This body is full of urine, blood, stool, mucus. Hmm? And same thing, Not, nothing else. So give up me and go and meditate Krishna. But he was so blind at that time and he was so uh, more grasped. Bewildered. That, oh, Urbasi, Urbasi, you should come with me. But after some time, oh, what nonsense I am doing? I was the king of the emperor of the whole world. I was by a strong personality. And what nonsense I am going to do? I am attracted to a lady. What lady? Only blood, stool and everything. Now I should keep up from my heart this lady and I should keep Krishna in my heart and telling he told na upadhoge na samyat na kamen na by enjoying enjoying na jato kamo kamana upadhoge na samyati by enjoying or enjoying. Oh, anyone cannot be happy. Not satisfied. Likes and likes. And even give in fire. Swaha, he. Then it will burn. Oh. So if you want to enjoy, then you will want in future more, 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 and thus you will go to this chapter. Well, so I must keep Krishna in my heart. And telling this, he returned, and what at once he gave up his whole kingdom, all relatives, wives, everything, and he went to forest and began to meditate on Krishna. So we should take this lesson and follow. You should know all the as he did, we must think this deeply. He told also a history of the history of Tedandi Kitra. How a devotee should be tolerated. Must be tolerated. If devotee is not tolerant, 
If mosquito will come and bite you, then they will take gun and will try to uh, uh, kill that mosquito here and they are running. Like so. So we should be careful for me. Oh, you should tell about the dandim. So first of all, I have to put down the Lord of Spirit, Sri Guru. My six Guru is Sri Guru, and he's going to the bathroom, so please stay here. You can go behind, you know. I have to pay attention to my six Guru, which is the Lord of Spirit, Sri Guru, and the Maharaj. Which is the Lord of Spirit, Sri Guru, and the Maharaj. Which is the Lord of Spirit, Sri Guru, and the Maharaj. All vice members, vice members. So Guru Dev has caught me by surprise because I asked him today, will I speak on a meeting? He said no. <laughs> so I didn't so much study that bit. But this is a lesson on tolerance. <clears throat> there was one Brahman, if I'm not mistaken. So he was a very miserly person. So he was always collecting wealth, collecting wealth. So he would never perform any service to any guests. He would never perform any service to any Vaishnavas. So it says that that house which cannot serve Vaishnavas, then the parents will become very miserly and cruel, then how the children will learn any good qualities. Therefore by the Sadhu Sangha, when the Sadhu comes to stay in a house, not only we are benefited, but the children are also benefited. In Jayadama we see the example, there was one merchant and his wife, Dhamayanti, they were very miserly. They never had any sadhu in their home, therefore their children picked up on their cruel habits. One day they locked the parents out of the house and stole all their wealth. What is the result? Because they never served any sadhu. Then he was extremely miserly. Even the most wealthy person in the world, how many chapatis can they eat at night? Only three or four? Therefore for whom are we keeping our wealth? Therefore that wealth which is not engaged in religious activities, that wealth is like poison. So, that's the only picture. He accumulated a great amount of property, great amount of wealth. And one day, then it was stolen from him. So, then he lamented bitterly. So it said suffering is also one type of renunciation. Therefore, by good fortune, he left everything. He achieved Sadhu Sangha. Then he could understand the glories of Sihari Bhajan, devotional service to Sri Krishna. So afterwards he took sannyas, the renounced order of life. So sannyas simply doesn't mean carrying around a piece of bamboo. Sannyas means one should have the qualities of sannyas. That means one should give up everything for the enjoyment of Sri Krishna. Only giving up everything is not sannyas. But giving up everything for the enjoyment, for the pleasure of Guru, for the pleasure of Gauranga, this is actual sannyas. So that's the only picture. Now he had taken the professed the profession of begging. So as you know today some people took diksha. So the rule of diksha, you have to go and beg from seven houses. Because when you go to begging you must be insulted. Some people give some harsh words to you. Some people give you praise, some people will neglect you. So this is very good for humility. Then with that Chidani Diksha, he had to go and beg from the same people he used to cheat in business. <laughs> The same people who he never gave donation to. Then all those people, of course, you know, there's a good saying. You meet your, what is it? You meet your enemies. Those people you trot on to get to the ladder of success, they're the same people you meet on the way down. Therefore, all those people who you, he used to cheat and insult, they now, well, now is a good chance. Then they began torturing him. They would pass it on him. When he would pull out his daily ball, they would pass it on him. They would beat him, steal his asan, steal his japa, steal his cloth, steal his gunches, pound him, beat him, insult him. Oh, we know what type of sannyas are you? There are some people who lose all the business, they have no way to fill their stomach, therefore they take sannyas, it is called karma sannyas. Then they insult him, you are like that type of donkey baba. Donkey baba means you have nothing to eat, therefore you pray and Hari Ram, Hari Krishna. Rade, rade, give me a few chapatis. 
Therefore, he was insulted, beaten, all his property was stolen. Therefore, as a result, he developed great tolerance. But how we can tolerate? It said, If you do not can, this is our parallel question 95. Unless you Unless we have tolerance, unless we control our mind and senses, then how you can achieve Krishna? Then he exhibited magnificent tolerance. But tolerance comes from where? Only when the heart is absorbed and see Krishna, then this world will become insignificant. Therefore, easy to tolerate. Some days before, when Ramachandra was good at, how can I give up my anger? And Guru said, and a wonderful example. If there was a piece of newspaper in my room and I tore it up, would you become angry? No. Why not? Because it's only a piece of newspaper, it's insignificant. So Guru said, in the same way, only when you see this world as insignificant and our so-called tribulations in as insignificant, then you can give up anger, attachment, madness, all these faults. Then in the Chitani Diction, he sang one, some series of verses. So that Verses were very much appreciated by Siddhi Tanya Mahaprabhu. Especially described as what is real sannyas. Then he said, he described about Paramatma The dedication of body, mind and words completely to the service of Paramatma or Sri Krishna. This is actual sannyas. So that sannyas, that Shidani Diksha began singing those songs and Mahaprabhu also used to explain this is the real meaning of sannyas. When Sri Mahaprabhu took sannyas, then he was carrying Ekadanda. Some people believe that there is no difference between the individual soul and the Supreme Lord. Therefore they carry one danda. They say there is nothing else but the Supreme Lord. I am that Brahman, you are that Brahman, everyone is God except Krishna. <laughs> so Sri Jinnadabhu, he took that danda and he smashed that in three places. He said, I was thinking, this dunder is the cause of the pain of all the residents in Navadvi. This dunder has broken the heart of Sri Vishnu Priya. This dunder has broken the heart of Sri Sachi Mata. Therefore, this dunder is the cause of all suffering. And Sri Nityananda broke it into three places. Therefore, Sri Nityananda indicated what is real sannyas. Thinking oneself as equal to the Supreme Lord, this is not sannyas. But to consider oneself an eternal servant of the Supreme Lord, this is real sannyas. They will, we take three danda. Some people think Mahaprabhu is Maya Vaj Sanyasi, but Mahaprabhu is not a Maya Vaj Sanyasi. Mahaprabhu was in the mood of Vaishnava Sanyasi, or Tridana Sanyasi. There were, in the Tridana Sanyasi, there are three sticks. They indicate that those persons who accept three things as eternal objects the individual soul, the Supreme Lord, and the relationship between the individual soul and the Supreme Lord as servant, who accepts these three things as, three things as eternal, that person is Tridhani Sanyas. Therefore, when we can tolerate like the Tridhani Bhikshu, then we can achieve that. Great. Mahaprabhu said that he won Jay Rup, Jay Rup, and Jay, Jay Rup, Nam, Loyle, Prem Upajar. Mahaprabhu instructed to Ramananda Roy. In that same manner that you would chant the Holy Name, in that same manner you will achieve Prema. They will achieve Prema only these four things. Tanaya, Pisa, Nishna, Buddha, Dev has been saying. More humble than a tree, more tolerant than a blade of grass, giving all respect to others and not demanding respect for oneself. So this is the most hardest thing to do. One Vaishnava said, I wanted to become a Vaishnava, but I met one huge brick wall in my progress. That was the verse. So very hard to do. Only that person who has prayed, that person can manifest the symptoms of Chanada Peace to Nichina. So go Pramanandi. Indeed, Kuru Kivazan. Sri Laruk Goswami is telling. The essence of all these substances that we had told, that Krishna had told to the essence of all, hmm? most dear of Sila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And inspired by Mahaprabhu, he, he has written, Tannam Arupa Chaitanya, Sukhat Tannam, 
forms are in Buddha. These are happy. On each tree, oh, full of flowers. Forests are full of fruits. And they have gone. The branches have gone to. Coming down. And Kaku birds singing. Peacocks dancing there in that Vrindavan. Radha Krishna are playing in the Kunya near Govardhan in so beautiful huh? green Vrindavan. So meditate, I am in Vrindavan. And then, oh, Tanna Anurupa Charitana. By Tan you should do Kirtan of Krishna and by mind you should meditate. But, Anu, like Niranta, without any bro, and the honey, this thing comes. And in the control, in the guidance of any bona fide guru, or Rasik Vaishnava, Rasik and Tattakya Vaishnava. This is the. And for this, Gopis are most beloved of Krishna, so Srimad Bhagavati Pranam is proof. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told. Oh, this is really the highest thing. We must follow Krishna. Oh, okay. And one thing more you should remember what? That our Swamini is Radhika. My master is Radhika. What is the relation with your Krishna? Oh, she is my well, she is most beloved of my Swamini Simati Radhika. No direct connection with Krishna. I will be happy in the ha when Radhika is happy and when feeling separation, so much suffering, I will suffer. All time, I will start Radhika. This is the hmm, highest thing. We should think like this and follow the instruction. In the end, I want to say, that always you should take all the instruction in your pocket that is your not heart. Always remember and try to fall. By this very soon you will have Krishna pain. You will be liberated from this world. Whether you are Grihastha, whether you are Brahmachari, whether you are Sannyasi. And better if you are Sannyasi, or give up everything. Nothing to be attached. And by that Mukunda Seva, oh, they can always remember Krishna. After this, he told Uddha, now he has to go to Bhadrikasana. And at once he did Parikrama of Krishna and went to Uddha. And in the meantime, oh, all the Jadavansi, they did fast at the time. And Mahaprasad was given to Brahmins and Rishi. But Allah, they took Mayavir, means wine, wine, a kind of wine. And they became mad. And they began to fight themselves. Krishna Baldev, they wanted to tell them the whole don't quell themselves. But they also began to turn with. They wanted to kill Krishna even. They had no sense at all. And thus they took that very sarkanda. The sardas. Grass and by grass they began to fight each other and kill the all top to bottom. Only well, Krishna and Baldev were there. Baldev also on the very top portion he became Sankarsan like stay and went in the north direction. Krishna saw that everyone is now finished. Then he sat under a tree. Under a tree. Oh, 
making like this, cheating with one, then to sorrow, like this. And this was very good ladies. Throw away a hunter. So, and he thought that it is a deer. And from there, same very iron who has put on his arrow and his suited. That once it came and touched his suit. Then he ran to catch, to catch the deer, but when he came over to Krishna, Jagat Guru, then he began to read, Oh Prabhu, you should punish me. Then Krishna told, No, no punishment. You should go to heaven. If anyone is doing so to Krishna himself, show the example. Oh no, by this, I wanted this and you have done my what I wanted. You should do. Fulfill my desire. And then, Krishna, uh, that, then at, at that time, Brahma, Sankara and all demigods came there. And in front of them, in a second, Krishna, by his body, went to Golok Vrindavan. What is this? You know that all the Yadavansi, Pradyumna, Narutha, Sattaki, all were associates of Krishna, very near and dear. And how they will take that wine, wine and they will Kill each other. fight with each other? It is absurd. So, in Bhagavad, even has been told that this was a magic, magic, so. magic. magic so. Once in India, a magician wishes over. Hmm. Sorry, famous. The hmm. uh, governor of Bengal invited him to show his magic. So. magic. He went there. Time was at 4, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. So all the governors and all the five position persons were there to see the magic of Vishiva. Time was 4 p.m. But they were Waiting, 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 and he came at about five. And chew betel nut. Huh? And he was chewing betel nut. The officer became very angry with him. Why you came late? We are waiting for you. Oh, you should see your watch. What is the time? This or that. Oh. Oh. Then, what they could tell it? Oh, then he told, this is my first magic. Yeah. Also, I have seen my own eyes in Mathura. One magician <coughs> covered his son with a white cloth and he cut his and taking his hair he put in a box and three locks were given. given. And the, he was given to the sick magistrate. He was there. Police superintendent was there. And then he thought, Oh my son, oh my son, come on, come on. And out of town, from one side he was. His son came to How he began? So this one Ajahn Bhatti Thakur. Is telling, really, this was not done at all. Anyone not killed, no fight, nothing. It was fully the active act of Krishna Maya. 
Paul will become first as the king. There, once a magician came with a young lady and two sons, sons nine, ten. Very beautiful. And then they are showed him play that on a road and two bamboos. See what shall I get? Climb on that road. Uh, and keeping one vessel, one vessel, more a vessel. And picking a bamboo stick and he was dancing on the road. Huh? Coming, going, coming, going on the road only. And then he came down, then Queen gave him expensive necklace. Uh, go, go, go. Very expensive necklace. Necklace. Huh? Her own ne necklace. <laughs> to that lady. That lady, when she was wearing that necklace, her two sons came, Mother, give me, Mother, give me. And they began to cry for this necklace. Mother took out and then sons began to snatch from each other, quarreling. But they were equal power. Equal power, so they put her. Then one took his sword at once, and another also took sword. And he cut his head and he cut his head. Both were Then magician, oh, oh my son are dead. What should I do? Oh, I must die. And then he took that sword and he killed himself. And then wife, oh my husband, my children are died. And he took the another sword and he cut. Oh there. <coughs> Queen and others were back and very well. Oh so why is it And then anyhow. They collected the bodies and took away from their place. And the life, whole life, they were thinking about what we have done. I did necklace and for this four are they. But in the morning they have received a letter. Oh Queen, faster what we saw you. Oh, you have given necklace, necklace is with us. And for what second we did, we are not dead. It was only mass marriage. Magic. So, we want another reward. A reward for that. And if you have no belief, you can come and see me, uh, see us, we are alive. King went with his queen and brothers. And he saw that they are smiling and coming with Portland to give Queen and King. king. Then, oh, King, where is our reward for that? Second, sir. King gave something with reward to them. Oh, if a magician can do like this, who is magician who has created this world, how is magic, how is Achinta Maya, Achinta Maya, Inconceivable. Inconceivable Maya. He can do anything he would like. So, by this way, Krishna took all his associates with him to Guru Vrindavan and those who have come from heavenly planet, they were sent to heaven. Again to them, heaven. to heaven. In this way, oh, Krishna took them all with him in Guru. So, that was the best thing. Go, Pranadande. What I have told, what Krishna has told to know, always keep in mind and try to follow. And 
है प्योर उत्तम भक्ति लाइफ इज शॉर्ट वेन वी ड्राइव विद एमिनेट इवेंट परिचित था सेवन डे वे आर नथिंग तो बिफोर डेथ वी शुड ट्राई टू रियलाइज हु एम आई हु इज कृष्ण वॉट इज रिलेशन विथ हिम एंड है प्रेम टू कृष्ण नौ हरे कृष्णा नौ प्रभु नौ प्रभु उपाट ने माधव माधव शुड बी रेडी एंड ही शुड सो ही हरे कृष्णा डॉक्टर फायर सीफाइस कलेक्टर ऑल फॉर गुरुदेव दे कैन काम एंड ऑफ आर्टिस्टर गुरुदेव द डिवोट इज टू कलेक्टर ऑल डॉक्टर फायर सेक्रीफाइस प्लीज काम एंड ऑफ आर्टिस्टर गुरुदेव डोंट डी लेट दिस tomorrow at 10 am i will come here ha huh? and in the meantime gas uh, puja huh? will be done and i will come and i will myself to puja guru parampara and after that you come Hello, sir. So, you might have heard some of that. Tomorrow morning is the very auspicious appearance day of Sri Guru Dev Sri Vyasa Puja. Uh, very auspicious invite, brothers. Uh, this is our most glorious day. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, first thing in the morning, we will begin with uh, glorification of Sri Guru uh, Sanyasi Sambhajan will come and speak. At 10 o'clock in the morning, all preparations should be made for Sri Guru to have to come and perform the Asa Puja and uh, Arti to all Gurus, and then after that, Sri Guru Day will speak some. Very deep, Tatva, Guru Tatva. In the evening, all day of course there will be Hari Kirtan, and in the evening also Shri Guru will again come, and many Vaishnavas will glorify the Guru Maharaj and speak his Hari Kirtan. Uh, during the day, some quick announcements. Today, many devotees uh, sacrifice their uh, festival time to so, uh, help cook. Some very nice to see you. I hope you enjoyed your lunch. And again, we have a nice uh, big feast for you this evening. Uh, many devotees came and helped with that, so my deepest thanks for all of you that came and uh, surrendered to cook today for Sri Guru's pleasure. And I'm hoping that tomorrow also, even though it is Sri Guru's pleasure, that the same devotees will come and help again. Tomorrow's feast will be twice as big as tonight for the pleasure of Sri Guru Day. Shri Guru Dev Ki Jai. Another announcement for the pleasure of Shri Guru Dev to be shown, and especially the devotees from New Zealand, the complete DVD coverage of all lectures, darshans, morning walks, and performances from the recent New Zealand festival are now available from Subal Sapaburu over in that corner, that corner. Okay, on New Zealand festival DVDs. <laughs> It's on there. So please take advantage of that. The devotees work very hard. Filming and also tomorrow there's going to be a webcast. Is that correct? International webcast for all the devotees around the world. So go to your line now, hurry up, hurry up. So um, uh, this is a very efficient time for all of us, and it's more about him. We're always going to put on a slick festival. This year we've had some difficulties with the weather, but the devotees have risen to the occasion, especially today, and put on a wonderful feast and wonderful um. Uh, Hari Kirtan and uh, entertainment for you this evening. This so now, Mr. Madhavan Prabhu is going to do his Paris. performance, and then after that, we'll have a special Leela guitar uh, from the Siddhanta uh, Rajputras of my beloved Guru Dev, from Mr. Prabhu Mahamsa, as we're going to go visit his family. So now, yes, uh, Madhavan Prabhu, all my students will come in. By all three, two sannyasis and Chamani, Giri and Damodar. Um, so, is Madhavan ready? 
Not I've come. Who should go there? He's coming. Why making this? And I was long my life. Start, don't delay. Hurry, go! Hurry, go! Come here. Come here. Go, sir. This only really works on one side, so uh, I'd have to do it very well. I'm sorry about you lot out there. <laughs> and that's Richard, why did you curse me this beautiful body? Whenever I just want to remember you, but there's always so many suitors coming to ask you to marry me. Why I have such a beautiful body? So many want to marry me. I have come to this area because I have heard there is a beautiful maiden and I am going to ask her for a hand in marriage. Two sides. Oh, Krishna, save me. Two persons. Save me, Krishna. <laughs> oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> ah, yonder, beautiful maiden. Let me ask her for a hand in marriage. What a beautiful woman. But, but this is just a body full of pus and mucus and stool. Why are you so attracted to it? Ah, you have it all in the right places! <laughs> you have everything in the right place, you are so beautiful. Your <laughs> body is full of mucus and everything. Oh. Oh, <laughs> but your eyes, they're like pools. Fists, yes, pools. <laughs> and you have teeth like stars! Yes, they smell good night. They smell good night. They smell good night. But he says they come out at night, they are false. Oh, beautiful maiden! Will you marry me? Will you marry me? But why do you want to associate with me? You don't even know that women are just like fire. Yes, I just want to warm myself beside you. <laughs> uh, hold it. I have to ask you to come back in a week's time. But you are so ratchetly beautiful. How could I wait so long? Oh, you know, if you come back in a week's time, I will show you my true beauty. Ah, that will be worth waiting for. I will see you in a week's time. Oh, very well then, don't be worth the one. You tell me, I want to marry you in the last of this book. She said, no, I am the full of the story. No, no, I want to say that.
What is happening to your collapse? You are sick. You are so out. I have to stay at home in this fucking shit. We all. Then let me see. Let me see your beauty. I cannot wait to see it. Yes, I am here. I put it all in this bucket here. Let me present it to you. So now I'm going to the pleasure of Shilagur and all the Vaishnavas. Novice. Um, Raja Didi, Pramadini Didi, and Hari Prashad have put together a wonderful presentation on the um, separation of our sons of Sri Krishna as delineated by our beloved Guru Dev, Shilagur Govinda Swami. And they put it in a slideshow production. And the young girls down the front here are going to uh, put the voices to all the slides. So, uh, Krishna wants to be controlled by his soda. Krishna wants to be defeated by his friends. Krishna wants to be refused by Radharani's father. Although Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, he relishes being subordinate to his devotees, especially Srimati Radharani, the topmost devotee. Sometimes in her loving dealings with Krishna, she manifests transcendental anger towards Krishna and refuses to see him. Krishna relishes Radharani's anger and becomes overwhelmed with ecstasy. Krishna has to devise some method to break Radharani's loving sloppiness. And this pastime is known as Man Vajanan Leela, the pastime of breaking Srimati Radharani's anger. Man is a word used to indicate the mood of the lover and the beloved experiencing, uh, sorry, their experience whether they are in one place or in another or in a different place. This mood obstructs their looking at each other and embracing each other, despite the fact that they are attracted to each other. The following translation is adapted from a series of songs that have been passed down by the Giri family in Galagiri Arusa for hundreds of years. I'm not the Lolita. Where is the fun in my heart? When I play the Loco, leave me here. I was just strung together in all of you. Has she given any message to say to you? Alright, then. She doesn't have to stand up for all of the food. How did I know I was here? Which I'm driving. What will I do now? Oh, life is my heart, Wade. Show me your moon like face. You are Dina Bandu, friend of the fallen. Please forgive me. I reply to Bandu. Your name, Radha Bandu, meaning friend of Radha, no longer applies. You have no shame. Sri Radha, I'm able to bear your harsh, insulting words. I must jump into the arena. Without you, everything is empty. Get out of here. I do not want to see you. I don't even want to see your shadow. Take part in the Muna, beat the Brahmins, and become free from sin. Oh, God, why do you so angry with Krishna? What kind of heart do you have? Oh, Sakis, from today on, I will not look at any black thing. But, Radha, the moon is black. Will you stop going there to collect water? Oh, Sakis, I will not look go to the Muna, or black. Find my black hair, or apply black cartel to my eyes. I will not look at any at the black rain cloud. Black is my enemy. Oh, don't you Why? How can you do that to your head? Your hair looks beautiful on your head. There are black chakras inside your eyes. What will you do with them? Please tell me. Oh, I'm very sensitive to the sound of Christmas fruit. You must go on. Because he is like a man, you are like I am. Oh, Vrinda, my heart is crying. How can I attain the lady of my life? I'm suffering in separation from Radhika. 
Firstly, she felt the fire of Radha's stoky anger is increasing more and more. She has stopped going to the Yamuna and will not even look at the dark man. How long is her dark man? There is one way, Ariel Amani Krishna, you have to dress as a female barber and go to Radhika's place and smear red lack on Radhika's feet and have a dark song. Oh, Sean, you look very beautiful. Oh, beautiful lady, where do you stay? Are you living here in Raj or somewhere else? Oh, Saki, I stay in Maripuri. I'm a beggar of praying. I have come here to put some colour on the feet of Radha. Please show me where the story Ratha is, the jewel of young girls. Oh, lady, our Saki, she must be very sad. She is not interested in wearing any kind of ornament or decoration. Radhika is now uncontrollably angry at Krishna. She has given up all kinds of decoration. Oh Radhika, one who delights in pleasure pastime. Give up your sulkiness. Oh Shrimadi, give up your sadness. Who taught you to write this name? Get out of here. You are such a shameless lady. O oh, Vrinda Devi, O oh, Goddess of the Forest, the fire in Radha's heart has not dissipated. O oh, the Almighty Krishna, if you want to have a dance of Radha, you should accept the dress of the lady's clothes. O oh, Vrinda, following your instructions, I dress the lady Baba, and the great anger Radha told him to get out. So, don't think that all is hopeless. Oh dear one, where are you from? Oh Saki, my dog plays with Matura. Due to fear from Kamsa, I stay in Raj. Where is Radharani? I'm a flower seller with fresh flower gardens. Oh dear one, Radha's situation is very bad. We no longer have time for worshipping the sun god. Your blue flower garden will not be pleasing to her. The Radha clan of Mom is attacking Radharani. Oh Radha, what kind of dress are you wearing? I do not see the famous tunnel tree in your courtyard. This flower garden will help you to remember Krishna. What are you saying? Get out of here! Oh Brenda, my heart is crying. The stocky anger has not left Radha. Be patient, O son. You should dress as a fire and beg for the arms of her sulkiness. Then Radha's unconquerable sulkiness must break. You will have to go to Kailash and approach Sima. Let us go at once. O oh, Mahesh, where are you? O oh, hold of the trident. Mahesh, please dress me in your form. Give me ashes and my hair. Are you playing a joke on me? Krishna, how can I knock the hair on the head decorated with the pe peacock feather? How can I sneak the ashes on the body which always changes with compare and sense? Oh my gosh, come on my brother, please decorate me with matted hair and sunlight like dress. Only this way will the mother brother go away. Touching one year, we have become Listen, O girls of Raj, I'm a new yogi. I have to accept arms from a chaste woman. This is my guru's order. I have heard of a young young woman named Radha. Please introduce me to her and show me her letter C. Listen, O Sanyasi, you are requesting arms from the most chaste woman. But all of her budget is the fact that Radha is a disgrace to her family. Oh Radha, please listen to me. 
I have come here to see your majesty. So, in the name of Dawn, you must agree to give me whatever arms I want. Go back to the dancing area. Ask for that, whatever arms you want. Oh dear one, my desire will be fulfilled if you will give me whatever saltiness you have towards the sound of man in my heart. Oh Yogi, take this. I'm giving you all my softness towards Krishna. Radhe Radhe Govinda Thank <laughs> you. 